My name is Ben Moore. I'm the founder of The Ugly Company here in Kingsburg, California. The whole purpose of this company is to prevent food waste at family farms. The Ugly Company is located here at Kingsburg, California. Uh, it's my hometown. Uh, I'm a fourth generation farmer in this area. My family's farmed here for over 100 years. And uh, I really like to say that, you know, this company was founded on the, the seat of a tractor. That's where I've gotten all my good ideas from, whether it's driving tractor and thinking about fruit or driving truck and wishing I wasn't dumping out fruit. Uh, we've been around since 2018 is when I started it, really after building that lifetime of understanding of, of what needed to be done and, and what action needed to be taken. Kind of the unfortunate reality of uh, the food waste situation here. And we throw away about two to four million pounds of fruit a day within a 15 mile radius of Kingsburg during stone fruit harvesting season. Uh, it's, it's a pretty shocking number, but if you know, I, I've, I've sat down and I've calculated out the number of trucks that leave the packing sheds. Um, and, and there's definitely people, you know, industry professionals that own those packing sheds that, that would back me up on that. Uh, there's a whole list of reasons why ugly fruit is not marketable and sold fresh, uh, but it really comes down to two kind of main brackets of, of that. Uh, the first being cosmetic issues, right? So uh, the fruit's, you know, too yellow, not yellow enough, not shaped correctly. It's too large, too small. Um, it's got some scratches on it from from uh, hail marks, uh, you know, rubbed against the tree, et cetera, when it was growing. Uh, the other kind of branch of that of those reasons are um, issues that affect longevity and storage and, and shipping or marketplace conditions. So if the fruit's overly ripe, it was picked a day or two. Um, late, it's got a little bit of soft shoulder just because the way it grew and developed. Uh, that fruit can't be packed in a box and shipped across the country because it won't last in storage. But then there's also, you know, the fruit's perfectly fine, it's a great one piece of fruit, it's beautiful, but the market's saturated and uh, there's just not enough sellable demand for that fruit at, at that given point in time because of all the factors that go into it. You know, growing up, my, my perspective on fruit being thrown out and everything was it's just the reality of it. Having you know been been in the military and, and moved back home and, and traveled over quite a bit of the world, I definitely came to the realization that hey, like that's not necessarily normal everywhere in the world. And there's definitely people that don't have access to what we consider ugly and are throwing out. I mean, they don't have access to that, that beautiful, nutritious fruit. Eventually, it really just matured and came to that realization that hey, this is definitely a problem. What what it, what it, if you boil it down to what's the most important thing that I look for in people that that. Um, want to come work here at the Ugly Company. It comes down to passion and believing in our mission, wanting to be part of that cause, you know, and, and um, it really, really helps to have some connection to the ag industry, whether their parents were farmers, uh, they themselves were truck drivers, or they, they worked in a packing shed, and, and have just some of that, that, that true grit, that true connection to, to seeing there's so much fruit that's thrown out, and there's definitely something that can be done about it. So what is the solution to prevent all this food waste, right? Each one of these bags prevents a certain number of pounds of fruit from being thrown out. So like with these peaches, 2.25 pounds of fruit would have gone in one of our trucks and been dumped out on the farm had we not generated demand from consumers buying these bags. So it's very simple. The more people that buy a bag of fruit, the more demand we create and the more fruit we can process and the less fruit's thrown out. The second part of it is, is our brand. Hello, I'm Ugly. We're challenging that perception of ugly that that things should be valued for their outside beauty, the, the visual interpretation of the outside of it. But truly what matters is what's beautiful on the inside and that's for fruit, that's how it tastes, it's nutritional value, the way the grower grew it. This, this company is, has really gone from just being a complete idea, a complete thing I thought could work. And it, when I started it in 2018, that's all it was. It was just ideas, some, some branding, some, some testing of products and things, but there were, we had not prevented any fruit from being thrown out at scale. Uh, 2019 rolls around, we believe we got into total about 50 stores um, and we prevented about 50,000 pounds of fruit from being thrown out that year. 2020, a very significant year, a very wild year for a lot of people, a very challenging year for us. Um, that year, I believe we finished uh, total, we were in about 250 stores. Um, we prevented about 200,000 pounds of fruit from being thrown out. 2021 comes through, uh, we expand from our little area in Southern California, we're now have distribution nationally. And we finished here in about 450 stores and we got real close um, right around that million pounds of fruit being prevented uh, from being thrown out which was our goal. 2022 we have double the goal to prevent two million pounds of fruit from being thrown out uh, to make our way into a little bit over a thousand stores. Another big thing is we're expanding our infrastructure significantly to be able to scale uh, beyond where we currently are. So a lot of excitement going on, a lot of work.